Hey everyone, it's Nathaniel here. This is Kid Time, and well, I think you know the drill by now. This week, we have something just a little bit different for all of you. It's a familiar character that you might remember, but a bit of a different show. Let's check it out. Hey kids, my name is Nathaniel Driesen, and you might remember me as the smart guy on WEFC News. I thought it might be a great idea to put my smart guy talents to good use. So I'm going to teach you something from the Bible and show you a really cool science experiment. But first, we need to go to the special science experiment lab. Now are you ready? Let's go! Here we are in the special science experiment lab. I have with me some raisins, some carbonated water, and some nice plastic cups. And they're see-through. I also have a very important question for you. Do you think that raisins can dance? Let's find out. The verdict is in, raisins cannot dance. How about we try something different? Watch this. Wow, did you see that? The raisins are actually dancing and moving up and down all on their own. Now, let me explain how it works. You see, carbonated beverages are pressurized by something called carbon dioxide gas. Now, carbon dioxide bubbles attach to the wrinkled raisins and cause them to float and bounce. They'll continue to dance up and down until they either get soggy or until the carbonated water goes flat. Now let's head back to the studio and we're going to talk a little bit more about what this experiment reminds us of. That was awesome. Now I have a couple of verses that I found in the Bible. They're found in the book of Psalms chapters 149 verses 3 and 4. And this is what they say. Praise his name with dancing, accompanied by tambourine and harp. For the Lord delights in his people. He crowns the humble with victory. You see, God loves it when we praise him with enthusiasm and with excitement. And when I plopped those raisins down on the table, they didn't seem all that excited, did they? But then once I put them in the water, they danced all over the place. Now, we can praise God with excitement and enthusiasm on Sunday when we watch or when we go to church, and that's pretty easy. But he doesn't just want us to stop there. Psalm 145 verses 1 to 3 tells us this, I exalt you, my God and King, and praise your name forever and ever. I will praise you every day. Yes, I will praise you forever. Great is the Lord. He is most worthy of praise. No one can measure his greatness. 
Wow. Now I have a big brainstorming question for you to think about as we go into this next part of the service. And that question is this. How can we praise God with enthusiasm and excitement every day? While you think about it, I better go clean up that experiment. See you next time. Hey, you know, maybe if the show takes off, I'll be able to afford a jacket that actually fits. <laughs>